Look at this giant donut-shaped region far away from Earth, beyond the orbit of Neptune. We're talking about a distance of more than 2.5 billion miles. It's the Kuiper Belt, and something eerie and bizarre is happening there. Dwarf planets and other small objects dwelling there refuse to cluster together. Instead, they follow particular orbits, which is weird. The reason might be a large, mysterious planet hiding beyond Pluto. Its gravity might be messing up the orbits of those Kuiper space bodies. Hear me out. Our solar system is made up of the Sun and everything that goes around it because of the star's strong gravity. This includes the eight main planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. There are also smaller things like moons, asteroids, and Pluto. For a long time, people thought Pluto was the ninth planet, but when it was reclassified as a dwarf planet, scientists started looking for a new Planet X. Did they have a thing about odd numbers or what? And guess what? Some really think there might be a big, icy planet hiding far, far away beyond Neptune. This mystery planet is often called Planet Nine. Now, Planet Nine hasn't been seen yet, but scientists think it might be out there because of some tiny, faraway space rocks called Etnos that move following bizarre, confusing paths. These paths seem to be grouped together and tilted in a way that doesn't happen by chance. This could mean there's a hidden planet pulling them into place with its gravity. If Planet Nine is real, it might be five to ten times heavier than Earth. It would also be super far away, hundreds of times farther from the Sun than Earth is. Over the years, scientists have guessed different distances for its orbit, and the newest guess in 2025 says it could be about 290 times farther from the Sun than Earth. There are some cool ideas about where Planet Nine came from. It might have started as a big planet that Jupiter once kicked out of the inner solar system, or it might have come from another star or even wandered around space on its own before getting caught by the sun's gravity. Even though scientists have looked really hard using powerful telescopes, no one has actually seen Planet Nine yet. And so far, its existence is still just a theory. But recently, a group of researchers tried something clever. They used data from two special space surveys called ERAS and ACARI. These two looked at the sky in invisible light, far infrared, about 23 years apart. Which is helpful because Planet Nine is supposed to move very slowly. The team focused on a special list from ACARI, which is better at finding faint, moving things in space. They guessed how bright Planet Nine might be and how fast it might move based on how big, far away, and cold it could be. Then they looked for matching blips in the sky that were seen by both Eros and Akari, but not in the exact same spot. That's because a real planet would have moved a little over 23 years, and they indeed found 13 possible matches that could be Planet Nine. Their estimations were based on how far away the object seemed to be, 500 to 700 times farther from the Sun than Earth, and how heavy it might be, which is 7 to 17 times Earth's mass. After looking very carefully at all the images, they narrowed it down to one really good candidate. The two detections weren't in the same spot in both surveys, and the way they appeared in the Akari map matched what you'd expect from a slow-moving object. It showed up on one date and wasn't there six months earlier. But of course, there was a catch. Apparently, the old data isn't good enough to figure out the exact path of the potential planet. So, the team wants to do new follow-up observations using a special camera called DCAM, which is really good at spotting faint, moving objects. That way, they can find out if this candidate is really Planet Nine. Additionally, it can help us learn more about how our solar system works and how it formed. If Planet Nine is ever discovered, it would totally change the way we understand our solar system. It could explain why some far-out space rocks in the Kuiper Belt tilt weirdly. The thing is, most planets go around the Sun in a flat-ish circle. 
but those faraway objects are tilted about 20 degrees. Planet 9 might be the reason why. Next, we'd probably find out why those tilted objects seem to point the same way. Their orbits are grouped together in one direction. A big hidden planet's gravity could be hurting them like sheep. There are also some strange tilted objects super far away. They don't make sense unless something big, like Planet 9, is tugging on them. A few space rocks orbit the Sun backward between the big planets, which is kind of the wrong way. That's super weird unless something big is messing with them. Some far-out Kuiper Belt objects keep crossing Neptune's path and haven't been flung away. That's because Planet 9 might be helping keep their orbits stable over a long time. Another cool thing is that if Planet 9 existed, it would be a super-Earth, a kind of planet we see a lot around other stars, but we don't have in our solar system yet. So finding one here would make our solar system more like the others out there. Throughout history, people have been wondering if there could be hidden planets far beyond Neptune, even before Pluto was found. Back in 1880, a guy named George Forbes guessed there might be two unknown planets way out there, one about 100 times farther from the Sun than Earth, and the other about 300 times farther. He thought these mystery planets might be pulling on some comets and changing their orbits, kind of like how Jupiter does with the comets near it. In 2004, scientists found a weird little world called Sedna. It had a strange path around the Sun that didn't seem to be affected by any of the known planets. Its closest point to the Sun, called Perihelion, is way too far for Neptune to be the reason. This made some scientists wonder if Sedna got pushed into its path by a hidden planet, maybe even something as big as Earth or bigger. Others thought maybe it was a star that flew by a long time ago or another star that formed near ours. Then, in 2014, another odd object was discovered. It had a very similar orbit to Sedna, which made people even more suspicious that there could be something big out there messing with their paths. This kicked off a new round of the Planet X or Planet 9 hunt. At a meeting in 2012, a scientist named Rodney Gomez said that maybe there was a big, hidden planet around 1,500 times farther from the Sun than Earth. He thought it could explain the orbits of other odd objects, like some far-out comets and centaurs, small bodies that wander among the giant planets. At that time, those who supported the Planet 9 theory believed that if it existed, it would move around the Sun in a huge, stretched-out circle called an elliptical orbit. It would be about 400 to 800 times farther from the Sun than Earth is, about 13 to 26 times farther than Neptune. If it really had that kind of orbit, it would take around 10,000 to 20,000 years to go around the Sun just once. Plus, if it indeed orbited the Sun, it wouldn't follow the same flat path as the other planets. Its path would be tilted by about 15 degrees to 25 degrees. The farthest point in its orbit, called Aphelion, would be in the direction of the Taurus constellation. As for the closest point, it would point towards serpents, Ophiuchus, or Libra. As for the composition of Planet 9, it would probably be a lot like Uranus or Neptune. It would have a thick atmosphere made of hydrogen and helium, and it would be super cold, negative 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Its core would be made of iron, and its middle layer would be full of rock and water ice. At the same time, if the planet was smaller and denser, then it might be more like Earth, with a rocky surface instead of a gassy one. According to a scientist named Mike Brown, if Planet 9 was real, a space probe would reach it in about 20 years if we used a powerful slingshot path around the Sun. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.